and the the way the candidates came to be a part of this had to do with polling and we'll get into those polling numbers in just a second with the guy that I like to call the numbers man Mr. John Cuvion with JMC Analytics John thank you for being here this evening thanks for having me on tonight uh, so all right we you, you did a poll and we found out uh, the way the candidates were ranked with the poll yes. uh, so let's start with the poll percentages um, sh um, Sharon Western Broom 41 percent mm -hmm. uh, Steve Carter 14 Matt Watson 13 uh, C Denise Marcel with six mm -hmm. Jordan Piazza with four and E Eric Gerard at two um, tell us what these numbers mean. So what these numbers represent is this. This was a random survey conducted of those in East Baton Rouge Parish who have some degree of likelihood to be a voter or there are new voters in town. So basically this would be what would be called a likely voter survey. And so one of the questions that was asked was if the election for East Baton Rouge Parish mayor president were held today, which candidate would you support? And of course we list the name and the party affiliation of the candidate in the same order that they appear on the ballot when you either go early vote or mail vote or vote in November. Mm -hmm. um, and with, with the polls itself, um, you know, we have the candidates and everything and the, the, um, the people who were polled. And of course we break it down a little bit. Yes. Um, male to female, um, and I guess this is not surprising, but more women mm -hmm. here, 56% to men, 44%. Break that down. So basically what that means is that in almost every jurisdiction I've seen, you do have slightly more women than you do have men. And so what's important when you want a poll to be accurate is that that poll be representative of the population as a whole, which in this case is those in East Baton Rouge Parish who plan to vote in November. And so part of making that poll accurate is making sure that the male to female ratio represents the population as a whole as you see from the numbers. Mm -hmm. um, something else here um, and I, I guess you do these polls all the time and I wouldn't have thought about this but you've got to look at the comparison of landlines versus cell phones. Mm -hmm. um, landlines 54 percent uh, and cell phones 46 percent. Right and so what's happening there is that in the old days virtually everybody had a landline and what's happened in recent years is that not only has cell phone usage become more commonplace but there's been a steady erosion I would say an acceleration away from people having landlines and so if you want to have an accurate survey you do have to be able to pick up those who have a cell phone and so that was the point of looking at the landline versus the cell phone people because those two different populations do have somewhat different political personalities and again that goes into making sure that the poll accurately represents the population. Mm -hmm. Would you say that um, more people on the landline side would be older voters? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a question of degrees. In other words, those with landlines tend to be, and the, the operant word here is tend to be, in other words, it's not a hundred to zero type of thing, but people with landlines are more likely to be older and or more politically conservative, and in a parish like East Baton Rouge, which is politically marginal and arguably a little bit on the Democratic side, you don't want to oversample landlines, nor do you want to oversample cell phones. You want to get the balance just right so that the, the poll represents the population of East Baton Rouge parish voters. Mm -hmm. um, um, we're, uh, our time is coming down a little bit. It went by really fast. Um, but the total poll count was 898, yes. and you had six poll questions. Can you just quickly run through some of the questions that were asked? Right. So what we were interested in asking is we wanted to see basically what people thought of the mayor's race. So two of those questions were devoted to asking how they intended to vote if the mayoral election were held today. And if they were undecided, we wanted to see who they were leaning towards, because that oftentimes is an indicator of how people ultimately plan to vote. I was also interested in seeing not only the second choice candidates that people had, but if they thought that Mayor Sharon Weston Broom should be reelected. In other words, to get an idea of what her hard and soft support is. So basically, this was a poll that could be kind of used to understand what people in East Baton Rouge Parish are thinking at this point in time, with early voting about to start several days away. Yeah, that early voting starting on Friday. Today's the last day to um, register to vote online. John Cuvion with JMC Analytics. I, I could talk to you all night, yes. but we just don't have the time. And <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. And so, hey, this forum is about to start. We're just minutes away. The candidates are actually making their way into the area. And, of course, you'll be able to see that on television from 7 to 8 and continue here online.